Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody posted this file on Facebook. And now that I think about it, I don't even know if they have Corel. But I'm going to show you how he wants to cut this out. And I wasn't able to get the vector file, but it's pretty clean. You can still see it's a fuzzy bitmap. So let's just take it. This might help some other people. Let's go to bitmap, resample. Yeah, I've already done it to 300. It was 72. I'm going to go to, it's black and white. So I don't have to do anything but trace it. And I always use outline trace and clip art. It's going to ask to reduce it because it is quite large. It takes just a few seconds and it's done. We'll take the new copy and you can see the white is still in it. And that's very easily done to get rid of all the white. I'm going to go find and replace, edit query, uniform fill, and then double click on the text. I've already done this, so it's already positioned for white. But just take your eyedropper tool and hit that white. Hit OK. OK. Find all. And then hit delete. So now we have a good vector drawing. It's still all grouped together. We can get rid of the find and replace window. We are going to ungroup it. Then that comes up, the border, create a boundary. I'm gonna create a boundary, I'm gonna nudge it over. I'm gonna go ahead and make my yellow box a little wider so you can. Now we still want this and because I've nudged, I can nudge it back. Now we need to take it and go to object and break the curve apart. And that comes up and then we go to effects and contour. And this is, un, it's not highlighted. So we need to group it together. And as soon as we do that, it groups it together. Now I'm going to go 0 0.02 in black to the outside with rounded corners. Hit apply. Now it did the inside and outside too, but that doesn't really matter. So now we can take it, go up to object and break. Let's select it all. Go up to object and break the contour apart. Grab that outside and move it down just so we can see it. And then we'll go ahead and move it up. And I'm just hitting the arrow keys. I'm going to go to object. I'm going to break the curve apart. Now I'm just going to grab the outside. You can see I have just the outside ring. I'm going to go ahead and make it red in a hairline so I can see it. And because I nudged, I can nudge it right back. Now that will cut out around that item, just the outside, and that should be good to go. And you can, if that's too close to your uh, engraving, you can contour it again, and then break contour apart. Let's zoom in here, and let's click on the red, and right there you see you've got a red hairline. If you clicked on the black, you'd have a black. Well, I'm actually clicking on the yellow box. Let me get rid of the yellow box. We're done with that. But you can always tell which one you have. We want the red one. So when I click on it, it says red hairline. I'm going to hit delete. Now you have a little bit larger contour, and you can right-click and make it a red hairline if that's what he's wanting. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.